Hi, my name is Matt and welcome. Uh, today I'm starting brand new video tutorial series where I will cover basics of creation and RPG game mechanics. And today uh, we will make a short introduction, talk about our project, download some necessary assets uh, because I'm a programmer and I will use some free assets from the asset store and set up our character and these are most uh, programming tutorials and I assume you know Unity scripting at C sharp a little bit okay so let's go okay two packages that we need at start uh, first is the blacksmith characters package two characters that come from the, tra the trailer that you have probably seen if you didn't go see it, it's awesome. And this is our guy that we're gonna animate and he will be our player. So go grab it and also we need raw mockup data from Mechanim. Uh, it contains a lot of animation that we will use in order to make our character moving. So we'll go download them both and open them in Unity. Uh, okay, so I have just created a brand new Unity project which I've called Mechanim Project and now go into window and asset store or click Control 9 on Windows and go into download it and find raw mockup data, hit import and now uncheck some unnecessary things but we may need everything so let's just import everything okay and then go grab blacksmith characters also import them okay now uncheck animation we will create our animation from raw mockup data and then we will just need a textures a rig mm. we will create our materials because those shaders are complicated and for now I want to make all things simple we also need sort materials and model and we probably won't need rest for now and if needed we will import them later so let me uncheck all of that standard assets also not needed right now and okay and now I will hit import okay now let me organize my data more efficiently I'll need textures folder prefabs folder uh, models folder and that's all I believe and now go to our art characters challenger and copy all of the textures wait for unity and drag and drop it onto textures folder and do the same for rest of them drag and drop okay now do the same for sort textures mm. oh, I thought I didn't import them okay let's delay that that put this into the models folder also put challenger rig in models folder and I probably don't need prefab for now so let's delete an art folder now move to models grab the child rig and drag and drop him onto the scene now press F to focus on him and he's all white because we have no materials so let's add some
Mm. Why I need two materials for armor, one for skin. Oops. One for hair and one for beard. Okay. Uh, now quickly, let's make the shader mode into standard with sec specular setup. Grab the albedo and assign them. Assign reflectivity texture into specular. Normal map into normal map. Mm, not this one, but this one. And occlusion map into occlusion map. And then drag and drop it onto his upper body. Here, here, uh, not here. Here, over here, over here, and over his helmet. Okay, now do the same for the second one, just change the textures. Normal map into normal map, occlusion map into occlusion map, and drop it onto his lower body parts, his knife and his sword rear. Okay. Now the skin material would be just be the standard shader. Uh, assign normal map to normal map, albedo map to albedo map, and specular map, occlusion map. Also is here, and now drag and drop it onto his head and his fingers. And now, as you see. Uh, we don't need his helmet for now because he interrupts with his hair. So let's uncheck them and also let's uncheck those, I believe. Okay. Now let's grab the beard shader. I'll be the map, reflectivity map. Probably I need to use specular setup for now. Reactivity, uh, normal map, and drag and drop it. I know that looks strange because you need to set rendering mode into fade. Then it looks cool. Okay, then hair material will look very simple. Uh, you just need hair. Mm. There is no reflectivity, I believe. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I have just done. Anyway, uh, normal map and occlusion map. The mode into fade. Okay, I'm glad. I've probably did something wrong, forgive me, I'm not a graphic designer. Anyway, uh, so this is our player, but we also need his sword, so let's drag and drop sword into hierarchy window, focus by pressing F and creating material called shall sort. set shader mode into standard with specular setup and grab the textures okay so what I have totally forgotten is setting he the material for his tongue and his teeth so move camera into his head and you can see his tongue and his teeth and it looks weird but anyway let's drag and drop skin material onto his tongue and his teeth okay and now 
let's grab his sword and put it in the right place and for now I will go into reference uh, hips spine spine 1 spine 2 spine 3 front guard, rear guard, challenger rear sword and I will drag this sort over here and reset its position and rotation value then rotate it a little bit like that mm. Okay, mm. so let's leave it like this, close those and let's name his player, player and create a tag called player or just add the tag and then move it onto your project folder. and what we have just done, we have created an asset meaning that editing one sort source player will cause uh, editing all of those instances I mean you have you can have multiple players um, or you can use one player in every scene that's what we're gonna do okay so I believe I finished and that concludes the first part of the tutorial uh, we haven't done anything amazing yet I'll do my best to change it in the future mm, and it was my first video tutorial I have ever made so any comments, suggestions, ideas or anything is very appreciated so leave a comment thanks for watching and till next time